Every four years, our nation turns its lonely, obsessive eyes to Ohio, the state on which the entire presidential election depends, the state no Republican has ever lost and still won the presidency. But this national belly button of ours, this thing we can't stop staring at, this thing we call Ohio, this place where we are now once again checking the polls every day, every hour, this place called Ohio is not the same Ohio it was the last time when Barack Obama won there. Ohio has not been frozen in amber since that election in 2008. Two years after that election, in 2010, it was the Republicans who swept to power in Ohio in that great red tide election of 2010. After that election, Republicans controlled the state house, the state senate, and the governorship. Republicans controlled Ohio. And once they found themselves in charge, Ohio Republicans got very ambitious very quickly. They passed a law to strip union rights in the state, which led to protests in the streets. Ohio Republicans said they would take union rights away from police and teachers and firefighters and snowplow drivers, and they did not care about the anger it generated. They had that majority from the 2010 election, and they were going to use it to do what they wanted. Three months after Republican Governor John Kasich had to give his State of the State address over the shouted catcalls of protesters in the Capitol, this truck rolled up at the Secretary of State's office in Ohio bearing 1,502 boxes of petitions. 1.3 million Ohio residents had signed petitions calling for the repeal of the Republicans' new union stripping law in the state. They turned in five times the number of signatures they had to turn in to put that thing up for repeal. Five times. At the time it happened, somebody sent us this picture of her Republican firefighter husband, who had voted for John McCain, uh, now standing out in front, of his, uh, in front of his house with his yard sign calling for the repeal of Republicans' union stripping law. This Republican firefighter won against the Republican Party in his state. Thanks to all those petitions, they got the union stripping law on the ballot for repeal, and Ohio voted to repeal it by 22 points. It was not even close. It was a blowout. Without Republican overreach, Ohio Republicans woke up the electorate, and the electorate kicked them in the proverbial butt. Do you want to know who was right there with those activists in that fight in Ohio? Who was helping the activists in Ohio with the machinery of campaigning, with the phone calls and leafleting and door knocking and commercials and rallies and get out the vote, with all the work that sounds a lot like the exact same work that goes into a presidential campaign? Who helped Ohio do that work in 2011? It was the Obama campaign. Jeremy Byrd, national field director for the Obama campaign, was on the ground in Ohio joining the fight last year. They did not leave the state in 2008 after Obama won it that year. They didn't leave the state in 08 and just plan to come back now. The Obama campaign has been working in Ohio all along. After their big win in the 2010 midterms, the Republicans thought they had taken Ohio back. They thought they could put their stamp on Ohio, starting with their historic rollback of union rights. And boy, were they wrong. The local papers described Republican Governor John Kasich as humbled by that experience. But after the union rights thing just got trounced in the polls in Ohio, it actually got worse for him after that and for the Ohio Republican Party, because it wasn't just that setback over trying to strip union rights. Governor Kasich had also signed a law that cut the time for early voting in half. Well, three months after that first truck rolled up with the petitions to repeal his union law, Look, the second truck rolled into the Capitol, this one with petitions to overturn the other law, this one with petitions to overturn the law against early voting. Ohio voters just did not like that law either. And, and, and look, look who was there that day. Obama for America, Ohio. The Obama campaign has been working in Ohio all along, organizing these campaigns, working these interregnum elections in Ohio. On that early voting thing, rather than risk losing another referendum by 20-some-odd points, Ohio Republicans caved. When they saw that truck roll up with those petitions, they just caved. They decided to repeal their own law themselves. They repealed their own law that would have cut early voting in half. This thing they had been telling voters was absolutely necessary. I mean, they did try to cut early voting by other means later on, but not in half, and not the way that law would have had them cut it had they not caved. They caved on that. They had to. Ohio Republicans charged into power after 2010 with their big, ambitious agenda, and they just got whopped or chopped, I should say. Listen to Governor Kasich describe the experience here. This is from January, right after the union rights vote. 
And the one thing you have to do is if you're going to bring about massive change that's going to cause great unrest, I mean, I've learned this. If you've got to prepare, I mean, I've learned it. You know, we've won. You take a look at our record. You know, you go out deep, deep sea fishing, and you catch a lot of sharks. We've caught them. Once in a while, the shark eats you, okay? We caught some sharks, but once in a while, the shark eats you. Watch out for the shark, okay? Republicans in Ohio have been running against the Obama campaign and the Obama base and in Ohio that has not liked Republican policies for the last two years. And Republicans in Ohio have not enjoyed the experience. On the other side, Democrats in Ohio have the benefit now of an engaged, experienced, rather electrified force of volunteers and political staffers who have been through two warm-up rounds for this next election. And they won both warm-up rounds by a lot. And they seem to not want to wait to vote again. Chris Hayes joins us next.